Hey there, I'm Dr. Matthew Shulman, board certified plastic surgeon here in New York City with another episode of Ask Dr. Shulman, where I answer your most common questions about plastic surgery. Today's question is something that's become much more common over the past few years, and it has to do with marijuana. People want to know if they are regular or recreational marijuana smokers, will that have any negative implications on their plastic surgery? Basically, they want to know, if I smoke weed, do I have to stop in order to have surgery? The quick answer is no, because marijuana is very, very different than cigarettes. You probably have heard me talk about cigarette smoking in the past. Cigarette smoking has been shown to have implications on your healing. It can cause wound healing problems, increase infection, increase problems with blood clots, a whole bunch of other things, which is why board certified plastic surgeons will tell all their patients that they need to stop smoking cigarettes for at least four weeks before and eight weeks after. Marijuana is quite different because marijuana doesn't have a lot of those other chemicals that cigarettes have. But what does marijuana have? There are 113 different chemicals naturally occurring within the cannabis. Those are called cannabinoids and there's two that we really concentrate on. One is THC and the other is CBD. THC is tetrahydrocannabinol and CBD is cannabidiol. Very confusing to say, but basically THC is the element within cannabis that has psychoactive properties. So it will give you the euphoric effect. Basically THC is what gets you high. CBD on the other hand, doesn't have that psychoactive properties. It's not gonna give you euphoria. It's not gonna get you high. But CBD has a lot of those other um, characteristics and other benefits that research is looking at right now. So we know that CBD can reduce anxiety. It can reduce pain. It can reduce inflammation and a list of about 15 or 20 other things that CBD can help with. This is the reason why medical marijuana is being legalized in so many states because research is starting to show that CBD has benefits and people are finally starting to accept that. So when it comes to your surgery, the THC or the CBD really doesn't have any negative implications on your surgery. So it's not the marijuana or the cannabis itself that's harmful. The key is how you're smoking or how you're taking the, uh, the marijuana. So it has to do with the method of consumption. If you're smoking marijuana, then you're exposing yourself to other elements and other chemicals that can be harmful. So once you burn the marijuana, you're gonna get exposure to carbon monoxide. Um, if you're rolling it in papers or rolling it in a blunt, then you're gonna be exposed to some of the tars that are in the papers. Um, some of the nicotine that may, may be as a residue within the wrapper, so things like that. So you have to think about how you're consuming it. So if you want to eliminate those things and you really need to avoid smoking it or burning it. So if you are um, ingesting it with edibles, probably no problem. Oils, vaping, all those things are safe methods for consuming the marijuana without having the other negative side effects that we talk about with cigarette smoking. The thing that you should keep in mind, I don't wanna say that it's totally risk-free because it's not. It's gonna be very different than cigarette smoking, but marijuana can still have some interaction with, with your medication. So if, if after surgery you're taking pain medicine, you're taking a narcotic and you're also ingesting marijuana by whatever method, then that may interact with each other and you may become very lethargic or very sleepy. So you have to be really careful. The other thing is that uh, marijuana, if you're a chronic smoker, so you've been smoking for a long time or, or you know, your body gets used to that and that may make it necessary to give you more anesthetic during your surgery. So you have to be very open with your doctor and open with your anesthesiologist about what your habits are because the anesthesiologist might have to give you a little bit higher dose of the anesthesia medicines because you may be a little bit tolerant to those things. The other thing to keep in mind too is after surgery, um, you don't wanna be smoking marijuana and have that causing coughing. 
because coughing can be really risky for, for a lot of the surgeries that you may be getting. If you cough, um, it raises your blood pressure, it can put you at risk for bleeding. So things like that, you know, you need to keep an eye out for. So what I'm trying to say is that if you are a marijuana smoker, then it's probably okay. And as long as you understand these other implications, there's really no reason for you to stop um, around the time of surgery. You need to talk to your doctor about it. And hopefully your doctor is open enough to discuss it with you and it's not gonna be judgmental um, because as a medical community, we should, be, we should be aware of advances. And the truth is that the research that's coming out is showing that there are a lot of advantages to um, CBDs. Um, that are within the marijuana. So, you know, we should be open to that, but make sure you can talk to your doctor, talk to your anesthesiologist, and let them know what your habits are. That way they can make any, um, any adjustments to what the treatment plan is. But the bottom line is, if you are a marijuana smoker, there's safe ways to do it that won't, have, that won't negatively impact your plastic surgery or your results. You just have to talk to your doctor about it and see what they say and take their advice. Hopefully that helps answer some questions about marijuana smoking around the time of your plastic surgery. If you like this video, make sure you like it. If there's any comments or questions, write down here, down below. And as always, subscribe to my channel so that you get notifications every time we add new videos like this.